Neil? Yeah. Well, come on, your, your turn to talk. <clears throat> And then Heather will pull after that. Like this? Ladies and gentlemen, the council. No, when you're done, you should come up. My name is Neil Lieberman. I'm a uh, resident here in Redondo Beach. I'm also a uh, business owner, homeowner, uh, uh, child in school, and uh, your public safety commissioner. And I'm here tonight regarding this massage parlor issue, and I'll be very frank with you, I have absolutely no idea what this political process is about. What I do know is that I have been a public safety commissioner for six years, and this, in some substance, nothing has been done to rectify what is becoming a very, very bad and dangerous situation, both economically, but also to the detriment of people who are also not only residents, but those that may be locked behind doors that we don't even know are there. And there are going to be very uh, many opinions regarding uh, the reasoning behind or how we're supposed to uh, tackle what is a uh, horse that's left the barn. And I would tell you that uh, the, the usual techniques employed by law enforcement at this juncture will not work. And to uh, to bring our new chief in under these circumstances, I would tell you that he has a daunting task, but he has uh, always kind enough to join me last night at the Public Safety Commission meeting and did at least agree that there is an issue. And with community policing and proactive enforcement, we can mitigate. But there is no way in the world that he is going to be able to do this himself. And this is way beyond a policing and law enforcement issue. This is a serious issue that, if not handled properly, is going to cause the north end to drop off to a place where it's almost dangerous to get to those beautiful palm trees and bike paths you've been building. And to be very honest and very respectful as best I can, the fact that I have the north side where I live has a half-abandoned mall with shootouts I wouldn't even let my kid go to with me. I have no supermarket, but what I do have what I do have is 17 massage parlors on one street. And to just give you some scope, okay, while everybody here has been focused on the waterway and the beautification project, we have unsolved cases involving violent acts committed to our kids in that mall. That has gone on for years now. And when I discussed the, the blight and the, the theory of broken windows, and I discussed it with Chief Leonardi, who of course told me that this is a very daunting task because it requires men to go in and do all sort of things and blah, 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 blah. And frankly, that is not the answer I was looking for. Six years later, I'm still standing here now asking for your help. But now I'm going to tell you and the rest of the community what my investigation at my resources using my company's assets has produced. And I'm wondering, because I don't even know, if you know how many massage parlors and massage-related businesses are in your communities, in your respective districts. And frankly, I don't even know what districts you belong to, because no one has ever contacted me, with the exception of the mayor. And that, to me, if I were running my company and I had deficiencies in a certain area, the first question I'd ask is, who's in charge of that area? And I don't know who it is. But I'm telling you, before it becomes a place of incredible violence and a draw on resources that is beyond what we're already dealing with, just dealing with these quality of life issues that should never have been. Ladies and gentlemen, you have 80, 80 massage parlors in this community. That is a six square mile community, the majority of which are located where else but the north side. Why? because the north side seems to be where the toilet is getting flushed. The fact that we have a mall of that size and how does an anchor store like Nordstrom go away? I can't imagine why they would go away when you have a good chance of getting stabbed or shot going in there. And there, if, if this is not handled properly, it's just arresting a woman for doing something she's being compelled to do and then putting her through a justice system which is completely ineffective to her I'm needs I'll give you another minute or so. i appreciate that is is not going to solve the problem 
because the mama son of that place will get another one tomorrow, may even pull one out of the back room. This is something now that you're going to be made aware of tonight. The statistical data, no matter what you have, and if you have less than anything than 80, then there's a, a, an issue of competence, which I someplace I don't even want to go. But what I'm telling you is, is I went out and I got your addresses and I got your spas and I have everything you need here. All you need to do is get in a car and drive to the addresses. And no matter what that license says, it shows that there was no investigation because what's going on here does not reflect what's going on in the city. Did you leave that with the clerk so we can? I most certainly will. I've left extra copies. And while, as I can close, we have 200, we have 200 restaurants, none of which except for one or two are actually brand. We have six supermarkets. They're closing at a rate I can't imagine. And at the same time, we have 17 in one street. I went yesterday from LAX on Lincoln all the way to Santa Monica, 10. And, and that says something, because that's nine miles versus what, mile and a half? And the fact that it goes through city jurisdictions and all of them on their main thoroughfare in the city keep it clean enough that you can hardly find it. Here, I can tell you. Yeah, I gotta wrap you up here. Well, well, I appreciate like I said, the time. I, I talked to you last night for a while. And yeah, no, we'll, and we'll I meet, and, and, We're gonna meet I, next week, but uh, I'm curious, as we all would be, about your numbers, how they differ, they differ from the ones we were given. So we'll get to the bottom of that. But I'd be more than happy to do. What I want you to do is give those to the clerk so every one of the council members can get a copy. And then we'll meet, we'll meet next week on this thing. Absolutely. We'll go away. Promise you that. I hope not. Thank you. Well, thanks. Is there a motion to receive a file? Somewhere. Second.